cooler. And the uh, cooler is going to take and change out his air filter for you guys to see. And uh, you're going to need the genuine article, or you don't, you do, you will need it, the genuine article, because they don't have it available in, as an aftermarket product. But uh, the number that you're going to need, part number for the air cleaner element, is uh, 17801 40040. And um, I have about 7,500 miles on my car now. The R01s, also known as the Sion IQ. Now what we're going to do is take a look at this new air cleaner. And you notice it has uh, a cut across here. That, that will go in this way when you put it in. And uh, so I'm going to remove the old air cleaner. So, and you can watch me do it. Um, first, you're going to need to remove. First, first off, let's, let me tell you something I have here. I have a quick disconnect on my battery, okay? See it over here? And I've already disconnected my power, so I won't be messing any electrical stuff up here. You don't need to put one on your battery, but you can if you want. You can get them at Pet Boys. Now, first off, what you want to do is, is remove the electrical sensor like this. You just press that little top button, push it down, pull back. Now you have, and you won't be able to see me do this I don't believe, but if you can see me doing this, where the wire is snapped onto the uh, air cleaner housing, you're going to have to snap this little button back with a screwdriver on one side, pull out the, uh, that one side, then press in the other side like that, and then you pull your wire up and out of the way and just hook it back here out of the way somewhere. The next thing you're going to need to do is take a Phillips head screwdriver and disconnect the snorkel. And only one place you need to do it is right over here. Just back it up until it's nice and loose. And make sure she's nice and loose and she is. And let's move our air cleaner over here out of the way. And then grab a hold of it with two hands and just pull back and it's off. See how easy that is? Now, let's take off the housing, air cleaner housing. It's these two top snaps. Snap them back like that. And then be careful when you pull it up and out of there like this. Make sure everything's out of the way. You notice it has a secondary air air cleaner or it's actually we'll call like a catcher. It'll catch anything that your air cleaner doesn't catch or if you somebody didn't put an air cleaner in this in the first place. So if you can see that all Toyotas as far as I know have these on there. My uh, wife's uh, 2009 Corolla has one on it. So we'll set that aside. Now we're going to take out the old air cleaner as you can see, there's a lot of dirt in it. You may not be able to see it, but it's a lot of stains. See all this dirt right here? And there's, see there's dirt in here? Oh, there's all kinds of specks and dirt like that. Well, this is only 7,500 miles. Now, Fram recommends you tr change them out at 12,000 miles. Toyota recommends you tra change them out at 30,000 miles. I recommend you change them out every 7,500 miles. You don't have to. You do whatever you want to do. Remember, I said this, this little square spot here goes in first. That's what came out. Now, if we compare the two together, you might be able to see the difference in the cleanliness. If you hold it up to the light, which I, I can't do without holding the camera up to it, but you will be able to see through this nice new one and a lot better than this dirty one. So here's the difference. Now what we're going to do is take this and put this down in like this and put it into the housing that's still in the car and press it on in and it will stay right, it should stay right there and it did. And these two little snaps at the bottom here all you have to do is guide them down to where they, they go into the, the bottom catch. There's two catches down there. Just put them down there 
slide this down back in there the way you had it, keep these snaps back, put this back down in, take your snorkel, get it out of the way, and guide it down gently until you get it into those, those two snaps. Got it. Now they fell right into place. Now put, bring this up nice and tight until you can see that it's all nice and put this closed. Snap that side, snap that side, it's done. Now you want to put your snorkel on next. So grab your snorkel with both your hands like you did before. Guide it on. Okay, there it is. Just slide it on down, wiggle it like that. It's on. Take your Phillips head screwdriver and tighten up your clamp. I like the C clamps, but now we have these wire type clamps. Well, the hand's in the way. I'll just try to get out of the way. Now you can see where it was screwed all of, where it had been screwed in because uh, it's darker. So what you want to do is make sure that when you threat screwing it tight, that you get at least down that far and there. You can feel pretty much when you get to the end, it starts to tighten up and you're in that spot where you need to be. Just wiggle it. If it's not moving, you're in good shape. Now take your electrical plug. Make sure you don't forget to plug it back in because you'll get a, a, a code, an engine code. So the snap goes to the top put it on and when you do you'll hear it snap on okay this connector listen if you can hear this car is going by on the interstate out here so I'll press it in now hear that snap hopefully you did now where this wire connects to the outer housing of the air cleaner you want to push that back in place and it snapped in and you're all done take your old air filter you don't want to throw it away you never can tell you might be able to use it again so you just keep it hanging around. You might want to buy two of these just in case. You never can tell from the dealer. You don't have to. Yeah, but anyways, it's a genuine Toyota part. And uh, element subassembly. There's the number again. And I think you can see that. Well, anyways, this is cooler. And I did this all in one video. I got the video camera on a stand so that I could do this for you. Now, that's all you have to do. You're, you're good for another 7,500 miles or better. Uh, so, this is cooler. And it's Cyan IQ, also known as the R01, saying bye-bye.